Hello and welcome back to the channel. This week's video is all about formatting with Prettier for Hugo and Go templates using Visual Studio Code. The prerequisites for this video is having the latest version of Visual Studio Code installed on your operating system of preference. On completion of this video, you'll be able to install the Prettier VS Code plugin. You'll be able to install Prettier and the required plugin locally in a project. You'll be able to configure Prettier for Hugo and Go HTML templates. You'll be able to configure symbol and double quotes for different file formats. You'll be able to create NPM scripts to automate formatting and checking with Prettier. Before we start, a quick message from this video's sponsor. As a Skillshare teacher, I've partnered up with them to offer you a free one month trial using my link below. I personally produce full length Hugo courses on Skillshare on a variety of topics, and there are many other great teachers on Skillshare ready to help you level up your skills for your next big project. Click on the link below for the one month free trial. You can cancel at any time and you'll be helping out this channel. Once you've opened up Visual Studio Code, you'll have to click on the extensions button on the left hand side and then search for Prettier. Click on the first option. There's quite a few different plugins available from different authors, but the first one, which has 22 million downloads, is the most popular and released by the Prettier coding team. So once you've enabled that, it will be installed globally. Let's change a few settings to get Prettier to work. So what we'll do, file, preferences, and then settings, or you can use control and comma. Type in format. And there's two options which you may or may not want to use. The first one is format on paste. So as soon as you paste in some code, it's going to be formatted. And format on save. So whenever you save a file, it will be formatted. What we then have to do is type in formatter and you'll have default formatter and you have to choose prettier as the default formatter and that will take precedence over any other formatter settings. Make sure while you're setting this up that you are in user settings not workspace settings because workspace settings will only work for the current project you're working on. So let's go ahead and make a configuration file for the current project. So we'll make a new file and the file name will be .prettierrc.json. There are a few different file types that you can use, but I'm using JSON because it's one of the most widely used configuration types. Then the first item that we're going to use will be overrides. We'll create a new object and files, put it in an array, and we're going to target in inverted commas, double quotes, star dot HTML. And then options. And then for parser, we're going to use go dash template. We're then going to use Alt Shift F to format the file. What's going to happen now is all HTML files will be treated as Go template files, which is perfectly fine because even if you haven't got any Go templating in your HTML file, the formatting will work fine. Now for this to work, we're going to have to install a plugin for Prettier for Go templates. Now the way we're configuring Prettier here is workspace specific for the actual project you're working on. So what we'll do is we'll open up a new terminal and we'll run npm init if you haven't already in your project. And we'll go with the default package name, which is based on the folder name. I'm not too worried about the other options. And then we can run npm install or npm i. We'll use dash d for development dependency. And then we'll install prettier and prettier dash plugin dash go dash template. And I'll show you what development dependency means in a moment. So open up the package.json and you'll see under dev dependencies we have prettier and prettier plugin go template. What that means is that these files aren't required to run the actual application. They're just used for development, for example, in Visual Studio Code. So let's go ahead now and create an ignore file so that files generated by Hugo are ignored by prettier. So make a new file and it's .prettier ignore. 
by default node modules is ignored so I'll write a quick note on that ignore that includes config files such as your git configuration we do have to ignore public all the files in public so we'll do slash, slash star star and also ignore resources slash star star and put a note on there that we're ignoring hugo generated files this way we're not trying to format files that we haven't actually written ourselves let's go ahead and run a couple of tests do some further configuration and then we'll write a couple of npm scripts So make a new file and we'll call it test.html and we'll delete this later on. We'll do exclamation tab and we'll get a HTML layout from Emmet. Let's put in some conditional statements. So if dot is home, let's see if we're on the home page, then we'll do an else. And end, we'll copy our title in. And we'll indent. And we'll pop it in there. That's for on the home page. We just want the title of the site and put the actual page title. So if we do some strange indentation and then alt shift f you'll see that it's being pulled back to where we wanted it if we didn't have the go template plugin installed it would be everything would be pulled back and say for example we nest if statements for example if and this is just fictional dot site dot params dot Example, I'll put some sort of meta tag we'll do some indentation on that to break it. You can use Alt Shift F and you'll see it's been fixed and we've still got our indentation and that is not possible without the plugin. So let's go ahead now and we'll configure single and double quotes. So we'll open up our prettierrc.json we'll copy and paste what we've already got we have to put a comma in before you paste it now for files we're going to use html and then we'll add star.css star.scss star.sass and star.less And for options, we'll look at single quote and we'll use false. So we're defaulting to the for double quotes. And then what we'll do is we'll copy the single quote false and put a comma in just next to the square bracket. So that is the end of overrides. And a new line, paste in single quote, but we'll change to true. So we're going to use single quotes for everything except for HTML and style files. That's personal preference, but I'll show you an example and then you can decide what is right for you. So I'm going to make a file called test.js. In that file, we'll import test from, and we'll use double quotes. testmodule.js, this is all fictional, and then we'll run test so it's not grayed out. So first of all, we'll have a look at the formatting of double quotes, single quotes. We'll also make a mess of the formatting, put a few extra spaces in there, a few tabs, even a few lines. Then we'll use Alt Shift F. You'll notice that double quotes have now changed to single quotes. All the extra new lines and tabs have been removed and all the spaces from our function have been fixed up. Double quotes and single quotes is entirely up to you or the team you're working in. It's just a matter of personal preference. If you don't want to use single quotes, you can get rid of this entire section. 
and you'll be sticking with the prettier defaults, which is what a lot of people do. Let's now have a look at creating some npm scripts. So the first one we'll do is format check. And then in the actual command, we'll run prettier space dash dash check. Then have to tell prettier which files are actually working on. If we use a space and a full stop, it'll run every single file. So we'll save that. Now, if your npm scripts aren't appearing down the bottom on the left hand side, in the Explorer pane, you'll have to restart Visual Studio Code, and it's as simple as hitting the play button to save you typing in the npm command manually. So it's telling us that all the match files have already used the pretty code style. So I've gone and modified the test.js file, so the formatting isn't correct. Let's go and run the prettier check again, and let it check through our files. And now it's telling us there's a warning that test.js has some code issues and they're suggesting that we've forgotten to run prettier. Now obviously you're not going to go through every single file in your project and run prettier manually for every single file. There is a way we can automate that. So we'll go back to package.json. In our scripts we'll put in a comma and a new script and we'll call it format write and we'll run prettier dash dash right and space and a full stop and we'll save that and we'll have our file visible and we'll run the write command this is the one i normally use and you'll notice it's fixed the file for us and it also tells us how long it took to go through each file then for example you could run a check if you wish and it's telling us that all the files are up to date i personally normally only use the right command but you've got to decide what's best for your workflow if you'd like a copy of this configuration you'll be able to get a copy of this project in the description below i've left a link so you can download it from github so that's all for this week's video remember if you like the video to hit the thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so you get updates with my weekly videos if you've got any suggestions or comments please leave them below and I'll happily get back to you as soon as I can. That's all for now.